It's a new day for fatherhood. Today is Wednesday. It's like 525. Just pulled up in front of the house. Taking a deep breath, getting ready to go in and be dad. I got to pee, kind of hungry. It's Wednesday, but it feels like it should be Friday. It's just been one of those weeks. It's kind of long. And as I was driving home, just thinking about work and just all the stuff that you got to do as a parent and as a dad, um, on I was just thinking about on Monday, my, my daughter Brooklyn had come up to me uh, when she got home from school and uh, I was just cranking out busy work and and uh, she's like hey dad I just wanted to come say hi I got home from school how are you and she came and gave me a hug and and I stopped what I was doing and I turned and I got up from my desk and I gave her a hug and said hi and asked how her day was you know but then I went right back to working and today I called her during the day just to say hey when you came in and talked to me during my busy work day it meant a ton to me and I don't think I blew her off when she came in but I didn't mentally go like that was really important and I kind of realized it a couple days later and I just wanted her to know that it mattered that she would think that she wanted to come say hi to me when she got home from school and uh, how important that was and just fostering that relationship with her that she knows how much it means to me for her to come in and that that is a priority and that is important and so as fathers I think you know my daughter's in eighth grade gonna be going into high school to foster that relationship where I am not too busy and that I have time and I make time and that she's my priority and my kids that I I'm aware of them and in tune with them and and have time for them it's just so critical as dads because I know we get so busy so wrapped up in the day I just feel slammed today and I go there's always going to be work to do. Tomorrow there'll be work. Next week there'll be work. Five years when she's going to college there'll be work. Ten years there'll be work. There will always be stuff to do. And so being aware of that. And, you know, I'm reminded somebody had told me, you know, when your kid's three, four, five, six years old, you can't get them to shut up, right? You're just like, question, 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 question. And we get annoyed and tell them not so many questions or whatever. And then as they get 8th, ninth, 10th grade, then we're on the flip side of that where we're, my kid won't talk to me. How do, I, how do I get them to talk to me? So being aware of fostering that relationship where they want to be around you and they want to talk to you and spend time with you. So as dads, let's continue to rebel against the idea that we're too busy or that there's so much today going on that, that tomorrow or later I'll have time. And let's make sure to create space and time amongst the messiness of life uh, that we are engaging with our families.